Guess who's back? Hey, is it us? Yeah. Are we back? Yeah. We're back. We're back. So let's oh. just get right up in this. Um, because Lord knows we need to. Um, James' chair is broken. Ah! In case we hadn't figured that one out yet. Kids. Kids. Um, so the <laughs> next category is, I got five in this one, and this is earthy fragrances. And I'm, yeah, I really like earthy. So, hey! So I'm just going to start off real, real quick here with the first one. And this is cedar. I love cheddar. I love this smell of an old cheddar chest. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was my nickname in high school, old cheddar old chest. Old cheddar chest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Strangely enough, they called me Mattress Pack in uh, college. Did they actually call you Mattress Pack? Yeah. Because they don't actually call me Cheddar Chest. No, they really did. Why? Because I could sleep through any class. Oh, I thought because you were a hoe. <laughs> yes, you would think that. Because I am a beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I slept, I slept a lot. Mm. Okay, Cedar. I love this one of Cedar Chests and like that you know, there's one of the things that are inside of them get. Um, so I have to try cedar, obviously. It's super strong, but it's really good. Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mattress back. Um, <laughs> no one actually called me Cheddar Chest. They did call me Chesty LaRue in high school. Oh, a little play on Busty LaRue. That's an old school reference for, you know, the dinosaurs like me. He's old. Yeah. Um, I really like cedar. I think not only is it really good on its own, but it might be good with other things. You know what this reminds me of more than anything else is I used to have a gerbil and um, cedar chips all over the cage. And I, I hated that gerbil. It wouldn't die, but it, the cage smelled good. Even when he piddled, it smelled like cedar. Piddled? Piddle can't stand it. <laughs> just cedar. <laughs> Alright, Piddle. Piddle. Go ahead. Grab uh, one. Let's see. I'm going to hop into this one. This is Rosemary Mint. Another one that's a really cool color. Yeah, it's a weird It's green. like an aquamarine, not aquamarine, um, seafoam. It's like a seafoam green. And it is I strong. I can smell it's really strong over here right pick up now. Yeah, I may regret having just stuck my nose right in that because wow, it's it's incredibly strong. Uh, I don't even know if we have to warm this one up, baby. Oh my god, it's like the strongest thing I've ever smelled. And it has right now for me, look oh, at that awesome color, it's like dusty seafoam. For me, this has the potential to smell like Vicks. Because I don't get any of the rosemary yet, I just get really strong mint. I'm getting a uh, little tiny hints of the rosemary. Yeah. I think they're gonna be a little more playful when they get hot. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they will be, um, because I really don't want it to smell like Vicks. Because I really want to love it. I already do. Okay. Um, this one is one of my favorites it's from this order, and this is French Quarter. Um, and let me read you this real quick because French Quarter is complicated. But listen to how good this sounds. Soft and sensual bouquet of creamy French vanilla with sandalwood, patchouli, and musk, accented by rose, violet, apricot, and creamy coconut milk. Money shot, right? Okay. But first of all, let's talk about, once again, this color is the coolest amethyst purple that I've ever seen. I would wear that color. I would wear this color. Yeah, I would. I should think about it for a minute. Yes. I totes would. It's this one smells so good to me. It's like nothing I've ever smelled before. Um, it's like I understand completely why it's in the earthy, but it's not earthy in like a traditional sense. I don't know. It's not like woodsy or you know what I mean it's not like that kind of smell it's very like playful and clean and complicated and I don't know I really like it you really smell um 
the cedar wood, not the cedar wood, I'm sorry, the sandalwood and the musk, but you get that like vanilla and that like a little bit of like the creamy coconut milk thing, like a little bit of the fruitiness. It's and strangely enough, I actually, uh, yeah, I used to live in um, just outside of Nolens in Gretna, Louisiana, and I found myself in the French Quarter more than once. And there are a couple of bars on Bourbon Street that smell a lot like this does. Uh, maybe because I spilled a hurricane on myself, and that the fruitiness of that sort of cut some of the uh, other odors of the French Quarter. But it, it it reminds me of the French Quarter. I know they called it French Quarter because of the French vanilla or whatever, but I've been there, yo. Nice. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe it's not because of the French vanilla, though. You don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, and then go ahead. Yeah, a little crackling birch. Crackling birch. Oh, sidebar, though, real quick. I saw on the message board people were talking about Create Sense they did, and someone had mixed crackling birch with sweet rose and called it crackling rose. Crackling Rosie, which I thought was like awesome. Crackling Rosie, get out and bow. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So let me pop this birch open. Mmm. <sighs> Son of a birch. That smells good. That is one good smelling birch. How many times could you? That's like three. Yeah, in like a I'm, second. I'm working on it. And this one is described as smelling like outdoors on a winter's day. And I don't know how much I get that 100%. I get the birch, though. I really, yeah, you do. And it's weird because it's put in your head, but like. I get like a little citrus and a little like, a little floral and, but it smells, it's a very cool smell, if that makes sense, like a cooling smell. And this is one of the ones that I was salivating over the box over while I was waiting for the hospital to release Caitlin. Um, I was so anxious for this, I actually went out and bought birch beer. And this smells like a good birch beer. It's really good. I really like that one. Mucho thumbs up. Mucho. Um, Dos thumbs. There are two thumbs. Dos. <laughs> um, okay. And then this one is another one that was one of my faves of the order. And this one is mango sage tea. Mm. Right? Mango sage tea. Oh my god, it smells so good. There's like something stuck in our heart. Whatever. Is it Jimmy Hoffa? Because people have been looking for him, I guess. Probably Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah. Found him. Found him. Oh my god, this one's so good. You can smell the mango, you can smell the sage, and you can smell the tea. And it smells like real fresh tea. And it's awesome. Awesome! I want to drink this. I know, it's good. It's juicy and delicious, and I love it. Juicy, yeah, it is It is very juicy. Mm hmm and you get the mango and the sage, like just as much as the tea, and it's really good. It's really good without being, and I, I, at first I was like, it sounds fruitier than earthy, but it's not, because the mango and the sage are like, blended so well together that it is earthy. Mango sage tea, loves it. I would drink the hell out of a tea if it tasted like that smells. Mm. Let's move on to some tropical scents, man. My man, <laughs> The crap out of me. <laughs> my mom, my <laughs> um, <laughs> these are the tropical scents, man. All right. Um, <clears throat> sugar can, cane, <laughs> sugar can. Cane codes are coming. Sugar cane toads. Sugar cane toads. Sugar cane. Sugar cane and bamboo. Yeah, that's right. What that smell like? Mm. Oh, I gotta wait for that. Yeah. Sorry. I'm John Pratt. Um, I love sugar cane and bamboo. It smells like sugar cane and bamboo. It's like the sugariest sweetness with that earthy bamboo. But like the, it's so distinctly a sugar cane sweet that it's crazy. Like, I could smell that without looking at what it was and oh, still know what it was. You bet your bippy. That is definitely a sugar cane. You bet your bippy? Are you 80? 
Get off of my lawn! Eh. You bet your bippy. It's just taps. Oh, you bet your sweet Aunt Petunia. Yeah, that's... You can do the sugar cane of hopping right out of that. Loves it. Yeah. Kudos, again. Loves it. We've got a little exotic coconut. And I think the exotic part is that they're supposed to be, what? Vanilla um, it's and... supposed to be guava, pineapple, currants, toasted coconut, vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, and white musk. Mostly it's... what I'm getting is, is the coconut. Um, <laughs> which I guess is why it's the star of the show. I think the other ones are all too busy fighting each other for a back seat, though. I'm not really getting much of it. Yeah, I, else. I really, I do. I only smell the toasted coconut. I smell a little bit of vanilla, but that's really it. Like, I'm hoping maybe it just needs to cure, or maybe it comes out when it's warm. If you've had a lot of coconut, tell me about it because it just smells like coconut to me. Laura, <clears throat> um, this one may be my favorite one of the whole order. This one is white nectarine and pink coral. Mm. White nectarine and pink coral. It's the coolest of cool colors. It's like a deep pink. Oh my god. I'm literally considering just trying. So nipple. Um, holy crap, it's so juicy. It is so juicy. It's so juicy. And it is luscious sweet peach, pineapple chunks, orange slices, honeysuckle, a little rose, and soft musk. And it is like, I, um, I love that one. That one for me, I might have to get this a scoop some scent in it which is the big bowls with the whipped wax you can scoop and put however much you want in the warmer. Oh my god. Right? Because it's amazing. I'm keeping this one. Give me that back! Are you freaking kidding me? We burned them in the living room. We live in the house. I'm trying to take my nectarine coral. Anyway, that one is crazy. I love white nectarine pink, pink coral. If you're going to be placing an order with CBV, Try that one. For those who rape, that one gets a five. Oh, me. five. Oh, for sure. Five out of five. Five out of five. No doubt. That's what I said. Got a little Hawaiian splash here. And again, kudos on the color. Mm hmm. Mm, this one smells like. Um, um, I know uh, some people have said it smells like Hawaiian Punch. It doesn't smell like that to me. It smells like, and this is again because I'm old. The, uh, if, do you remember Fruit Strike gum? It tasted fantastic I remember for like that. five seconds and then you know, it was like chewing your cud. But for those five seconds, it was heaven. That smells like Fruit Strike gum. It does smell like Fruit Strike gum. I know what that is saying. I wish it smelled like Hawaiian Punch, but it smells good and I like it a lot. Ha. Bam. Okay, uh, we have time for one more category. Oh, we got enough. We get. We got plenty of time. <gasps> All right. Um. Okay, so that was tropical. So we're gonna go on to um, house blends now. It's a house blend. House blends. So. <laughs> to the creations of themselves. So we've got, first up, this one has a lot in it. This is Genevieve's Tea Ring, and this one has Granny's Pie Crust, the Porridge Pot, Brown Sugar, Cherry, Creme Brulee, Vanilla, and a Hint of Cinnamon. Who is Genevieve? Tell me. What is a tea ring? I must know. Oh, and it's so bakery and good. It's like the really rich, bready... Herb like doughy, sweet bakery. I love it. Love it. Mmm. Smells like a really good Italian cookie. Yeah, I can get that. I can get behind that. Okay, yeah. I don't get any cherry in it, which is one of the things they said about it. But maybe when it burns, but I get the brown sugar and I get like the pie crust and a little bit like the vanilla creme brulee kind of smell. 
It's um. It's yummy. Nom 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 nom. What? We got a little morning in Madrid. Never been to Madrid, so I'm gonna take their word for it. Well, that is a good morning. I'm getting a lot of citrusy notes. It's Valencia orange, sparkling bergamot, tangerine zest, tart cassis, um, orange juice, neroli, ground pepper, fiery chili, and sheer musk. Mm. And it's another really juicy one. It makes me salivate. It actually? really, it really does. But you smell the pepper, and I never would have thought I would like something with like pepper and orange juices ingredients. I used to throw a shot of Tabasco in my OJ. You also put cheese on your pie. Ja. Nasty birch. Mm, Birchy. I really like this. It's really citrusy and juicy, and I really like it. What? I'm just looking at it. Oh. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> this is Sexy and Stiletto. And I know it was inspired by a YouTuber, um, but the description was very, like, it's sweet with a little musk or something, but... That's all that's really said. Um, once again, I'm sorry, we keep saying the same thing, but this is the bombest dark magenta color. And I really like this one. It is sweet and musky, but I can't really pinpoint specific notes in it. But to me, I, I don't know, I think it's really, really pretty. It's not like, oh my god, I'm in love with it forever and ever and ever. Um, but maybe it will be when I warm it, because I feel like it's going to come out more when I warm it. But I really like it a lot. Mm. I think this one needs to grow on me a little. Maybe it will. I don't dislike it. I don't want to give you that impression, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel. It's like I, I want to. I really need to see it warm because I don't know a hundred percent how I feel about it yet. So. Mm, I'm not certain, am I? Go on. I will go on. You will go on. Oh, simply delicious. And it is simply delicious. Um, picking up some bakery notes. <coughs> this one's pears and vanilla with like buttercream and brown sugar. Mm, okay, it's brown sugar and the buttercream I'm picking up. Butter and cream. like Butter and, ah, uh, uh, um. I can I can I can pick up the pears trying to jump in. Uh, they're a little more subtle than I, I would have hoped for. I love pear. Mm, I love yeah, pear. I want the pear to come out more. And maybe it will. It might. It's really good though. It's really rich and delicious. It is yummy. You spill the brown sugar in it again, butter. Mm -hmm. And the last one is another one that a lot of people seem to really love, and this is, but I hate it. <laughs> this one is Tiffany D. Um, Tiffany D, uh, watermelon, honeydew, cotton candy, and vanilla, and I really do like this one, actually. Mm. <laughs> I really like Tiffany D. Oh, I can smell it from here. It's really good. Um, it smells, it smells like, um... Another one that would be really good alone and also really good to mix with, but... Oh, oh, this is the uber melon. Yeah, the cotton candy and the melon is like super good together. It's like girly, sorry, <laughs> girly, and sweet and fun and delicious. Good for all time zones. Good for all time zones. That one made my nips hard. I like it a lot. So we're going to go to another part. No, we can, we're, we're good. We're good. Are you sure? We have I'm positive. Ten more. Let's do it. I think he's gonna be wrong, but we'll try. Okay, so we've got next up. We've got fruity scents, and we have got five of those. And then 
and let's just go ahead and start. So this one is another one I was really excited about, fig lychee, mm. um, and it's fig and lychee. Once again, I don't, I don't know who does these awesome colors like this. Oh, and this one smells so like really good. It's like, and I smell fig and lychee, and I smell like. It smells like a grown up fruit snack. And I really like it a lot. A lot. Very, very. Oh, the lychee really, really comes out a lot. Mmm. Yeah. Can we do this one tonight? No. Well, not no, but it's like I have to go to bed in like an hour to go to work. I have to go back to work tomorrow. Anyway. Good times. Should be. Should be. Anyway, that one's that one. Go ahead. All right, we got a little bit of Tayberry and Teakwood, which sounds like an 80s cop buddy movie. <laughs> it totally does. Tayberry and Teakwood. Oh, I like that. Do you like it? I do. The movie? Let's see. Bamboo, teakwood, teaberry, blackberry, mulberry, cloudberry, peaches, clover, sweet grass. It's a mm, lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff, but it, it, it doesn't smell jumbled. It doesn't smell complicated. It's really good. It's an earthy berry. Earthy berry. Earthen berry. Like a berry white as opposed to a berry manila. Yup. <laughs> um, okay. So <laughs> Whatever. This one is another one that was one of my faves. It's probably five or this one. This is spellbound. Mm. And it's awesome. Spellbound. It smells like the summer, a stronger version of Summer Boardwalk from Bath and Body Works, the Slatkins candle. Is exactly what it smells like. It is boop, boop, fresh cotton candy, tart green, uh, tart granny smith apples, creamy butter, caramel, maple, and sugar. So basically, yeah, it's a very similar smell. Yeah, totally. It smells very much like it. It highlights different aspects. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But it is. I love that. It's so yummy. That's dope. It's dope. Oh, my foot fell off my footrest. All right, just whatever. Move on. Roll with it. Roll with so, it. So, go ahead. Got a little poisoned apple here. And this is one that had bourbon. It was like vanilla bourbon was one of the things oh, in it. Oh, and I could smell bourbon. Mm -hmm. And while I, I prefer scotch, I do value a good bourbon. And that is a very welcome fragrance. I like that one. I want to give that one a five, too. Yeah, I really like it. It's very good and appley. And it's weird. It's like sweet and not sweet at the same time. <laughs> That's the bourbon. It'll get you. You do smell bourbon. You smell bourbon. You smell bourbon. Apple bourbon. Bourbon apple. I like it. Yes. And the last one is another one that is much loved and it is Best Friends. And it's like a ton of different berries. And I don't know for sure if I like this one or not yet. It's crazy full though. Yeah. Yeah. She brimmed it. She brimmed it. And I don't know. I, I feel like it's a lot of berries. More berries than a moon. I want to try it warm before I really pass judgment on it. Because I like it, but I'm not sure about it. There is a lot of fruit going on in that. Do we have time to do another? Of course we do. Okay. We're professionals. One more. That's it. And we 
Let's see that one for last. Have now all these bakery ones. Five bakery ones. I think next time I'm going to get so many more bakery because it was hard for me not to just get all bakery. I love bakery. So yeah. our camera got awesome last time. So he had to wait to charge it to finish this video. And now he has to get to the chair again. So yeah. before what we were saying was that we're on to the bakery as the last ones and we ordered buttercream crunch, but she ran out of the oil for it. So we got buttery gingerbread as a replacement, which is totally fine. Um, and at first I was like, Ugh, I don't know if I like gingerbread because I've not, I've not liked gingerbread smells from other places. Long story short, the Yankee Candle gingerbread sucks. Yeah, I hate it. I like their gingerbread maple, but I don't like their gingerbread and I've, not really felt like a gingerbread. I don't know, they're also spicy and bleh. But buttery gingerbread is not. Buttery gingerbread is buttery. And it smells like gingerbread. <laughs> like actual gingerbread, not just like cinnamon. And that's it. It smells like gingerbread and butter and it's really good. And um, mm, yeah, this I like. I like it. So good replacement. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do one? Oh, sure. Breakfast in Vermont. That's uh, breakfast in Vermont for those people that don't understand Vermont accents. I don't know. I mean, I lived in Vermont. I feel like nobody sounded like Forrest Gump. Oh, you got to meet Mark. You'll meet him. This is one person who uh, sounds yeah. like that. Oh, no, you got to meet everybody from Cold Hollow, actually. All right, whatever. Yeah, but... That is a breakfast I would like to eat. It's really good. Uh, it has a lot of notes. It's white chocolate, truffle, caramel, sugar, buttercream, maple, molasses, and base notes of vanilla, white chocolate, and white flour, like F-L-O-U-R. Who knew there was that much going on in Vermont? Mm -hmm. Vermont. Stop. <laughs> oh, well. Mm. Really dense fragrance. It's really chocolatey. I really smell the chocolate and like the buttercreamy. I even smell like the molasses -y. note. Molasses -y. But I don't get a lot of maple, which is surprising to me. Because what's breakfast in Vermont if there's no maple? But I really like it a lot anyway, so who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess I'll do two because you want to do that one, right? Oh, I sure do. Okay, so this one's Cajun cornbread. And um, Emily, who on the Victoria, Hales Victoria uh, message boards is Makeup by Emily, um, warned me that Cajun cornbread, and I've heard it before, smells really weird cold. And she's totally right. It's a mix of peach preserves and Kim's Country cornbread, those two scents from Victoria. Um, but I've heard it needs a, like more cure time than other ones do. And to me, I smell like a slightly peachy hot dog right now. So peachy hot dog, that's what I smell. Is that? <laughs> it smells like um, sausage crawfish gumbo. Yeah, it's weird. It does smell like, I don't know. It's weird. But I like I said, I've heard, I've been told that it needs a lot of cure time. Uh, we've also heard that it's a whole different story of warm. Yeah, so we'll see. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, hot right dogs. Now, the, yeah, yeah, cold hot dogs. Sketchy, but hot hot dogs. Wow. Well. Oh, wow. Um, cool. Okay, so, and then I just have um, pumpkin chocolate. You know, I love pumpkin and chocolate. And she seems, Victoria seems to do a really good um, chocolate to me. She's got a pretty good handle on the gourds, too. All of her mm -hmm. pumpkin fragrances have been delightful. 
And to me, this smells like a spicy pumpkin, but I don't really smell any chocolate right now. So that might change as it cures or melts or whatever, but for me, and it still smells good because I really like pumpkin, but I'm just getting pumpkin and no chocolate. That's me. Yeah, I'm not really getting the chocolate right now either. We'll see though. It is a very pleasant pumpkin. It is a really good pumpkin, um, but I think that as it warms or cures, the, the chocolate will come out because it can't be called pumpkin chocolate if it's pumpkin, right? That would be a illogical. True that. True that. So there's that. Vomit. Oh my god! Just do it. Just do the last one. So uh, this is the this was my one real big. I mean, she she mentioned this fragrance and uh, yeah, that one, that one, get that one. And it's maple bacon. Because, I mean. <laughs> it was like he needed it so badly. I sacrificed one of my bakery slots so he could get maple bacon. And I am so glad that she did. It is good. <laughs> it is good. It smells like maple bacon. It smells like. Salted cured meats. Yep, maple cured bacon. It smells so, it's like really bacon. <laughs> it's really bacony. I don't know. This might be good mixed with breakfast in Vermont. It might be. It's worth one of the chocolate ones. Breakfast in Vermont is a chocolate one. Yeah, but like straight chocolate. Straight chocolate. So that's that. Mm. So that's our order from Candles by Victoria. I'm it gonna is. order more because I am obsessed with them right now. I'm gonna try not to. Okay, I shouldn't say I'm going to because I was trying not to, but I really am. <laughs> Wax band. <laughs> Wax band rocks. There's just so many fragrances. And so I guess. Yeah. You know. Um, we're glad to be back. Sorry we took mm -hmm. so long. What? Um, yeah, sorry about that. Some stuff got in my bod to be dealt with. And shizzle. Shizzle. So, um, thank you guys for watching and being patient, and we're sorry. Um, let us know what you want to see next. We had a couple of requests for the girlfriend tag. It's just the boyfriend tag. Yeah. But, but fine, we'll do the girlfriend tag. Um, the hell? <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. What do you want us to do? And we gotta do our weekly, uh, what that smell what like. What that smell like. But you have to give us a few days because we didn't really melt anything. Yeah. Because of the um, complications. All I've been smelling the last week is hospital hallway. It's been really good. Mm. It's been really good. Sexy. Sort of. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Deuces.